pa 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 Welcome back to another edition of Fan Mastermind. This is how it works. Two rounds of 90 seconds, one of a football specialist subject, one of general football knowledge, and we want you guys to play as well. Make sure you mute the sound during the round and let us know how you get on in the comments below. Ba, 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 ba. Name? Nicky Hawkins. Occupation? Presenter, West Ham Fan TV. Specialist subject? The farewell bowling season. Okay, just to say, if you guys want to take part in this round, you can do so. Mute the sound right now and play along. Nicky Hawkins, on the last season at the bowling ground for West Ham in 2015-2016, your time starts now. What happened on the 9th of June 2015? We signed Dimitri Payet. Incorrect. Slevin Bilic was made manager. The last league game at the bowling ground was against Manchester United, but which side was it supposed to be against when Swansea. the fixture... Correct. Reece Oxford became West Ham's youngest ever player in a competitive game when he played against which side? Arsenal. Incorrect. Lusitanos. Who knocked West Ham out of the Europa League last season? Astra. Astra Gergi. Astra. I'll yeah. give it to you. Uh, West Ham beat Liverpool at Anfield 3-0. The victory was their first at Anfield since what year? 66. 1963. Which two players did you sign on season-long loans on the summer deadline day in 2015? Uh, it was uh, Moses and Lanzini. Oh. No, it wasn't, no. Victor Moses and Alex Song. Excellent. What was the score when West Ham completed their first league double over Liverpool for 52 years? The score? Yeah. What do you mean? What was the score in the game? When we completed 2-1. 2-0. How many league goals did Andy Carroll score during last season at the Bowling Ground? Seven. Nine. West Ham lost their last FA Cup game at the Bowling Ground to Manchester United. Who scored the winner? Uh, Fellaini. Correct. Who was your first win against that season in the Premier League? Uh, Arsenal. Correct. You signed Lanzini at the start of the season, but which club did you sign him from? Oh. From Abu Dhabi. I can't remember the club. I'm going to pass that one. Uh, after scoring against Sunderland at home, uh, Antonio's celebration imitated a famous cartoon character. I've started, so I'll finish, Nicky. Yeah. Homer after Simpson. scoring. Okay, well, let me. Well, well yeah, I'm I don't sorry, want I'm to supposed finish. to finish. That was maybe you need to respect the question. Sorry, there. mate. I'm yeah. going to ask the question. Okay. After scoring against Sunderland at home, Mikel Antonio's celebration Im imitated a famous cartoon TV character. Who was it? Homer Simpson. Correct. Respect the rules, Nicky. Nicky. In that round, you scored five and a half points because we're giving you Victor Moses because you're a lot bigger than I am. Um, what is your reaction to that? Um, no, that's, that that's awful. Not happy? No, not happy at all. Okay. Most of them started at the beginning of the season. See, the, the whole memory. season, isn't it? Yeah. Whole season. The whole yeah, so season. Don't digging out the questions. <sighs> so, Nicky got five and a half, but how did you get on? Let us know in the comments below. And if you've got a West Ham mate who you think could do a bit better than Nicky, then uh, make sure you share this video and get them to have a go themselves. Ba, 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 ba. So Nicky, yes, yeah, second round now. Sam is in the lead with 13. So, you know, you need a good few to, to get past him. How is your general football knowledge? It's all right. Nothing special though. All right. Depends what the questions are, I guess. Exciting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the second round is general football knowledge. So again, if you want to play, mute the audio right now uh, and, and take Nicky on in the general football knowledge round. Nicky, your time starts now. Who did Pogba score his first goal for Manchester United against? Swansea. Uh, no, Leicester City. Uh, who missed the decisive penalty for Athletic Madrid in the 2016 Champions League final? Koke, uh, okay, was it? Juan Fran. Uh, who scored the winning goal for Iceland against England at Euro 2016? Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson, correct. Who scored the last ever goal at Upton Park? Bowling ground. Last ever goal, it was Winston Reid. It was. Uh, which England player famously fractured a metatussle in his left foot in the lead-up to the 2002 World Cup? Beckham. Correct. Which French attacker was named player of the tournament at Euro 2016? Uh, Payet. Antoine Griezmann. Which Spanish striker left Valencia to join Barcelona in the summer of 2010 in a 40 million euro deal? Say it again, sorry, mate, I didn't hear Which that. Spanish striker left Valencia to join Barcelona in oh, the summer of 2010? David, yeah. Correct. Who scored a late winner when West Ham won promotion via the player final to the Premier League in 2012? Uh, Vaz Tay. Correct. 
Manchester United set a new transfer record in 2016 to sign which player from Juventus? Pogba. Correct. Which Argentina, uh, when Argentina put together a 25 pass move to score against Serbia in the 2006 World Cup, which midfielder completed the move by scoring the goal? Pass. Esteban uh, Cambiasso. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really here is the title of the autobiography of which former Man City midfielder? Uh, pass. As of 2016, which English football ground had the highest capacity? Ellen Road or Hillsborough? Hillsborough. Correct, Nicky. Well done, boy. <laughs> right. Yeah, that uh, we, was we've good. We've tallied up your score. Better, so, yeah. um, you passed on two questions. So when Argentina put together a 25-pass move uh, to score against Serbia in 2006 World Cup, it was Cambiasso who scored the goal. And the I'm Not Really Here is the title of the autobiography of Paul Lake, who was riddled with injuries. Do you know of Paul Lake? Don't worry. Well, obviously not. Um, but despite that... You got seven correct answers, which which you got to be happy with. Yeah, better, better round. However, if we take a look at the leaderboard, which is graphically being put up right now, uh, you half a point off Sam. How does that make you feel? It is what it is, isn't it, I suppose. You take it really well. Yeah. <laughs> well done. That's good. I'm, no, I'm, I'm really disappointed with my West Ham. Considering it was only last season as well, I'm yeah. really disappointed with that round, yeah. So if you're a West Ham fan and you're embarrassed by Nicky's performance, then uh, let him know in the comments below. But if you are a West Ham fan and you want to watch wicked content, go over to West Ham Fan TV and go and subscribe to their channel. If you want to check out another fan mastermind, then check out Sam's. He's top of the leaderboard at the moment. You can do that by clicking right here. Most importantly, subscribe to Bull Street by clicking on Nick's sad face.